Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Ride Spotlight. Today we're going to be featuring an awesome assortment of track rides from go-karts, storytelling adventures, and even a dark ride. So stay tuned, and let's check them out. Welcome back everybody, and if you're new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button, leave a like if you enjoy the series, and be sure to come check us out on Discord, links are down in the description below. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into the first creation of today, starting with Rum Runner, created by Wasiegel, one of our Discord advanced builders and silver patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Wasiegel, and here he says, hey oh Johnny, welcome to the Rum Runner go-kart track. This is my first attempt at creating a go-kart track in pirate theme. It was created a while ago and I figured I would share it. Captain has a supply of rum he needs transported for him. The winner gets the captain's approval while the loser gets, well, let's just say it's not fun. Enjoy and as always, any feedback is appreciated. Boom. Alrighty, let's take a closer look at the ride stats. Uh, not a lot to look at with the ride stats here today. There are go-kart track, so there's not a lot of statistics other than 656 meters in length. So there you guys have it. We're going to change the name of this to Bollard so we can ride the coasters ourselves and control them. And looks like they're uh, getting ready to depart here. So we're going to just cut to it when we're ready. All right, around here, we like to put ourselves in last place to see if we can catch up and win these go-karts. It's been a while since I raced these, to be honest. A very long time. I want to say, uh, over half of a, half a year at least. So, try to pass this guy here. Oh! Alright, let's see if I can get in here. No, 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 he's cutting me off. Darn it. <laughs> Woo! Alright. God, these controls are a little weird. Well, that guy sped out. He's in first. Now we're in first. Woo! I get a little, uh, oh, maybe that guy's in first. Or he's, uh, about to be lapped here. Oh! Skid around that corner. Let's go! Step on it. Need to upgrade our acceleration. Pedal the metal. Alright, this part looks tricky. Oh! Oh, oh, we, oh, we, we went right through him. All right, that definitely puts us in first. If you're not first, you're last, all right? Oh, no! That guy took it. We weren't in first. That guy was hauling ass. So we're going to switch to the first cart here. But who was that? Was that this guy? Anyways. So now we can enjoy the nighttime lighting because uh, Wasegal does a really good job at his nighttime lighting. If you guys saw the last, I think it was the last episode, the Water Rides bundle, um, he did the Pirate's Cove. And the, the lighting and theming is very similar. I mean, they're both pirate themes, but you can see the running theme between the beige and blue lighting. It's very nice overall. I really enjoy the... Uh, lighting that you've got going between your two creations, the last two creations of Pirate. Some spooky greens down here in the cave. It's really nice. So if you guys are looking for a Pirate section of your parks, I think between this go-kart and his log flume should fill up your area quite nicely. So there's a look at it at nighttime. And our, our next creation sitting back there too. So let's pause this so we can think a little. I mean, I don't really have any feedback for you. I've already taken a little closer look at your creation before I started the episode and I mean it looks fantastic especially at nighttime we can switch to daytime I would actually say that this one performs better at at night it looks a lot nicer but it's very clean the cues clean I like the way it all connects together feels like a pirate theme overall a very solid creation so yeah I don't really have any feedback for you today I think uh, between this and your last one you've nailed the pirate theme and you've definitely got a grasp on it so keep up the good work there with Siegel and thank you once again for supporting the show through the patreon program and uh, let me know what you guys thought of this go-karts down in the comments below and that's gonna do it for this creation here it's time to check out our next one the last of us created by Traffica rides one of our discord new builders now unfortunately I 
don't have the email here. I have to apologize to Traffic of Rides. I lost your email somehow. Uh, I had something in place in, in, instead of this creation, and then there was a problem with that one. So I needed to find a replacement. I grabbed yours as the replacement, but I didn't move it before I deleted it, and then I couldn't find it in the uh, logs either. So I went back to an older date of the form and I still couldn't find it. So I don't know what happened there, but he did send it in. I do still have a link to the Steam Workshop down in the description below for you to check it out. But other than that, it's called The Last of Us and it's supposed to be a storytelling adventure ride. So let's delay no further and get on this, shall we? Oh, yeah. oh. All right, there it is. So let's talk about it for a second here. I mean, there's a lot going on here, a lot of action, and he called it The Last of Us. Now, from my understanding, there weren't zombies in The Last of Us for PlayStation. So I kind of wish I had the re email. My apologies for that. I, I kind of want to know what is the inspiration here. Maybe if you're watching this Traffic of Rides, you can leave a comment down below and let people know what the last of us because it might just be the last of us and it's a zombie apocalypse story but maybe i'm wrong i don't have a console i don't play console games so i don't really know what the last of us is all about from my understanding was like the world had turned upside down and there's only a few people left and it's it's more of like a, a survival situation but if there's there might be zombies in there i don't know maybe they're the two are unrelated but with all that aside let's just talk about the ride itself i feel because this is a park file if you want to I had to put the, the other blueprints into this park file. These buildings are massive, so there's no way you could have gotten these into blueprints. And I personally feel like there's two different themes going on here. You have this sort of uh, old style city, and then you have like the new skyscrapers and stuff. And I feel like it's a little bit clashing. These ones don't look nearly as good as these ones. They don't really match next to each other. So I, I feel like in terms of a composition um, and building a city, I would have liked to see a little bit more, especially because it's a park file. It was a very short ride overall. We just kind of went through here and then uh, the big opening shots and exits uh, where all the action was. I think it's a pretty good attempt, but if you're going to do a big storytelling adventure ride in a park file, I expect it to be like a, at least a few minutes long, uh, if not longer, even up to 10 minutes. This is what I would kind of expect to see from a blueprint in terms of track length. The track itself, we didn't really look at the stats here, but yeah, track length is only 400 meters. And that is usually capable of being put into a blueprint such as this, which is twice the, the length. And even the next one that we're gonna see, which is a blueprint is uh, even longer than both of those. So that's my feedback for you here today, today Traffic Rides. He is one of our Discord new builders. Be sure to apply for that workshop review form because I, I do think you're beyond a new builder at this point. And uh, that goes for anyone 
anyone who's created at least one or two decent creations, you should definitely get a promotion by now. So the workshop review form is found in Discord. Be sure to uh, fill that out and we'll be doing those shortly. Boom. All right. Once again, great job on this one, Traffic of Rides. And we're going to check out the next creation, which is a dark ride. Manor Asylum, created by Jack P891. One of our... Oh, is it a subscriber? Look at that. So he's not a Discord member. Come join us on Discord, Jack. And here he says, Hey, Johnny, my first submission to the channel and my first attempt at a fully triggered dark ride. I take a lot of inspiration from the channel and would love to hear your feedback. Welcome to the Manor Asylum for the criminally insane closed in 1968 Manor Asylum Lake, empty until 2005 when uh, routine restorations were carried out. Workmen reported old happenings and after the death of one, the site was abandoned until today. Uh, a Huntsman Dark Ride for your park. Please do not set the music for the ride as it's covered with triggered speakers throughout. There's a delay in the cars leaving the station to prevent collisions. All right, so let's check it out.
<laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> this was actually a really great creation. Yeah, I, I have so much I want to talk about. Let's get right into it. So, I mean, I would have liked to have a narrative instead of like reading the wall of text at the beginning, which I already read out in your description. So when I got to that, I was like, okay, I, yeah, I already read that. But I get it for... Um, people who put it in their parks and stuff. Now this part was really interesting. Let's let's fast forward here. Get the volume down real low so I can uh, hear myself think, but you will see this disappear from existence. Watch this. And I checked this out closer. It happens every single time. I have no idea how you did that, but it's 100% repeatable. Watch it'll happen again on this one. <laughs> I don't know if that was accidental, but it's a bug that is 100% repeatable. If anyone wants to figure out how he did that and like take a lo closer look at the track sequence, whatever events are happening right here, cause, cause it to clip out of existence. There are some pretty drastic changes. It's pretty herky-jerky at times, but I think it was, uh, it added to the, uh, the scare factor. It was pretty interesting. But yeah, your rides are clipping together. You said you spaced them out to avoid clipping, but the, the train comes back through here when another one's coming in. So there's going to be a, a collision no matter what, unless you space them apart like 30 seconds or more. What I would do in the future if you design one of these layouts, have an exit route for this one to go out of, and then that way there's no chance of a collision at all. And you don't have to fiddle with the timing of the trains or what have you but yeah it comes out the way it came in which is always going to create problems so you would have been better bringing it through this way or something so yeah just war be mindful of your uh pathing next time but in general this uh this was jam-packed it had a lot of sound effects a lot of triggered events really great use of the camera effects the camera effects that you can put onto the triggers you did a lot of black and white scenes with the grain uh black and red i I really like that and for a subscriber a, a non-builder of discord i think you're definitely up there in the builder or advanced builder ranks so really strong creation by jack p here today let me know go what you guys thought of it down in the comments below and uh yeah well, let me know what you thought of the other creations too this was a track ride episode so uh lots of variety here and i think each one of these creations were very unique in their own way and uh, i love to read your guys' thoughts and hear what you liked and why also leave some feedback for the creators and their creations here today boom so there you have it everyone that's going to do it for me here today in this episode thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please be sure to smash that like button if you're new here subscribe come join us on discord and check out my patreon page if you want to support the show so i can continue making this awesome content for you amazing people all right everyone thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video Bye now.